afternoon, students. My name is Mrs. Fuller. I'll be covering TEKS K.5, Matter and Energy. Objects have properties and patterns. We can observe and record properties of objects. This section of the lesson is going to be on texture. Texture is how something looks and how it feels. Now, when scientists um, observe, they use their five senses, their sense of vision, smelling, tasting, hearing, and touching. So today, uh, we're going to use the two senses of seeing and touching because texture is how something looks and how it feels. This is my chicken. Her name is Lauren. She's an Aracana chicken. She's from South America. Look how beautiful she is. She lays green eggs. Some chickens can't fly. She can fly. She can fly a little bit. Look at her big flight feathers on her wing. This is a flight feather from a different kind of bird. This is very smooth. I can tell by looking at it that it's smooth. I can tell by touching it that it's smooth. And I can use a science tool called a hand lens to examine it to see how smooth the flight feather is. It's important for birds for their flight feathers to be smooth so that they can push against the air when they fly. Another kind of feather that's very smooth on a bird would be a contour feather. Those are the feathers that are against the bird's body that makes the body of the bird smooth. It helps them slip through the airstream. So contour feathers and flight feathers are very smooth. So we, we were able to touch her feathers and look at her feathers to see how smooth her feathers are. I'm going to put her down. And I'm going to get out an animal that's rough. This is a gecko. He has rough skin. His name is Peanut. Peanut doesn't like to be handled too much. I'm going to show you his sweet face. Say, hi, Peanut. Peanut is very rough. Can you see the bumps on the back of Peanut's skin? I can tell by looking that his skin is rough. I can use a hand lens to magnify those rough bumps to see how rough his skin is. So I can see, but I can also touch him and see that he has very rough skin. This rough skin helps him be successful in a desert environment. He's a desert animal. I'm going to put him down. We've examined, um, we've examined uh, smooth and rough. Now we're going to examine soft and hard. So for soft, we're going to look at a pelt. This is a pelt of a bobcat. A pelt is the skin with the fur still on it of a mammal. So the bobcat's a mammal. We have five kinds of wild cats in Texas. We have bobcats, which are the most common, but we also have pumas, ocelots, margays, and jaguarundis. The one that you're most likely to see is the bobcat because they're they're relatively common, but they're also very, very shy. So a lot of Texans never see a live bobcat simply because they're hiding. They don't like to be seen. Their fur is extremely soft. I can feel it and feel that it's soft. I can look at it and see that it's soft. I'm gonna let you look at it also. See how soft that looks? And I can look at it with my hand lens to magnify the fur to see all those layers of softness in there. So the pelt of a bobcat is soft. It helps him stay warm in the winter time. I'm gonna show you an animal that has a hard covering. This is a turtle shell. There's no one home. That means the turtle is not alive. Turtles cannot live outside their shell. Their backbone is actually here in the top of the shell on the inside. If the turtle's not in there, the turtle is not alive. Now, I can tell by looking that this shell is hard. I can tell by feeling that the shell is hard, and I can look at my hand lens. Yeah, that's a really hard shell. But listen, I can even hear how hard the shell is on this turtle. I'm going to show you very quickly a little friend who lives in my laboratory. His name is Terrence. He's a three-toed box turtle like Mr. 
Monroe's box turtles. He's lived in this laboratory decades, many, many years, um, much uh, longer than I've been in this um, laboratory. He has a very hard shell. I can feel that it's hard. I can see that it's hard. I can look at it with a hand lens. It's definitely hard. Okay, now the, the last two sets of textures that we're gonna look at are coarse and fine. Coarse means large, fine means tiny. So we're gonna look at two kinds of rocks. One that's got a coarse texture. This is called pudding stone. I'm gonna show it to you. So you can see all the big crystals and all the big rock pieces that are stuck in the pudding stone. This makes the pudding stone coarse. I can feel it and feel all those big pieces. I know it's coarse. I can also look at it and I can look at it with a hand lens that will also tell me it's got big crystals and big pieces of rock. This pudding stone has a coarse grain or a coarse texture. Now, another rock that we're gonna look at as a fine grain, fine means tiny. So we're gonna look at this right here. This is obsidian. Uh, it's uh, got a very fine grain. I, when I rub it with my hand, I can't feel any crystals. When I look at it, I can't see any crystals. When I look at it with the hand lens, I still can't see any crystals. The crystals are so tiny, so fine that you can't see or feel them. Uh, so this, this obsidian has a fine grain or a fine texture. 